This is a monumental night for members of Columbus City Council. In 2018, voters decided council representation would make a transition from an at-large model to a new district system. Today, voters are deciding who will represent residents within nine districts, the entire city voting on each candidate. NBC4 Sierra Johnson has not only followed this model change since the beginning, but also today's election and joins us now to discuss what voters can expect. Sierra? Yeah, this is all new. So voters that are Columbus residents are voting for council members in this new model. So let's start by taking a look at these nine districts. Uh, you can find your district by visiting either our website, NBC4i.com, or by using the search tool on the City of Columbus website. Now, it is important to note that the council members must live in the districts that they represent. So while there are nine districts, only three of the districts are contested or have more than one candidate and they includes district two district um, excuse me four and district five right next to it so for district two which is mainly north of i-270 two potential council newcomers nancy de akauer and louise gill are facing off for that seat district four sits on the north side of the city and includes north and south linden as well as the northland community adrian hood is looking to unseat incumbent emmanuel remy who took office more than five years ago and and in District 5, which includes the northeast side as well as the eastern area, Forhan J2 is challenging incumbent Nick Bankston. So the remaining districts are uncontested but will include two new council members, Chris White, Chris White rather, in District 1, and Melissa Green in District 6. We will, of course, have all of this information for you on our website, NBC4i.com. All right, Sierra, thank you. And NBC4 is your local election headquarters. Again, once the polls close at 730, we will bring you up to the minute results on air. And for online results, scan the QR code that you see there on your screen to save our election page in your favorites.